Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another Star Citizen video. In this video, I want to go over skimmer missions. Skimmer missions are great starting cash for people who don't want to go down the mining road. And in my opinion, it's a really great place to start if you plan on advancing in bounties. The great thing about skimmer missions is any ship can do it. The Aurora, the Mustang, all your starter ships, they can all do them very easily. Once you get skimmer missions down, they literally only take 10 minutes and you get 20k payout each time you get it done. You'll find skimmer missions under your general mission category, go to mercenary, and then they'll be called halt or legal surveillance. The skimmer missions will always be within your local system, so you'll never have to worry about a long warp to reach the skimmers. Once you get in the ship you want and you head to the mission's location, you're going to have to scan down three satellites. And after you scan them down, you must destroy them. And when you destroy all three, you get 20k payout. The race against the clock comes in once you create physical contact with the first satellite. Meaning once you shoot that first satellite, a five minute countdown will start. And if you don't have all the satellites killed within that five minutes timer, you fail the mission. And on top of that, it starts another timer, which will eventually spawn NPCs. So when you're very new to skimmer missions and you don't really have the concept of scanning and finding satellites, I would take the time to find all three satellites in that location before you engage in combat. If you're in a cheap starting ship and you don't have any real updated guns or you haven't rented anything, you might not be able to take out those NPCs if you're very new to the game, having the pressure of finding the satellites on top of getting a shot, you, there's a good chance you might die and get frustrated. Once you get used to it and you upgrade your ship, you get more confidence, or you can even take out those NPCs coming at you, obviously you can start to become more um, ballsy in your moves. When it comes to taking out the NPC ships that are coming at you, if you chose the Aurora, you might not be able to make a spec that's really that effective. It's not really a P versus E ship. It's more of an exploration. If you chose the Mustang, that is completely different. It actually is pretty quick for a little starter ship and you can upgrade it to get you pretty far up in the bounty line. I chose to upgrade my Mustang and eventually get an arrow. You could choose to not upgrade your starting ship at all and just straight rent a ship right away. Again, once you get good at skimmer missions, that's 20k in 10 minutes. So you have the option there on whether you want to deck out your starting ship or really want to explore some other options within the renting menu. And if you want to get into bounties, P versus E within skimmers are a great way to kind of test your way into that. You can kill the skimmers, get 20k, then take your ship, go fight the NPCs, and if you die, you still made 20k. It's a good really entry point to the game, especially if you want to focus on P vs E. You start making money real fast, you interact with combat. I hope this video ends up helping out some new players that enter the game. Until next time, take care.